Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk about GP Vegas. Previously, I was unsure whether or not I could go to it, but it looks like I will be very close to the event, not in Las Vegas, but in Escondido, California. And I have driven from Escondido to Houston, so I do know what that drive is like. So it is likely I will be at the event. I probably will go to a few side events, but I wanted to go over the pricing. Uh, Channel Fireball has put on many good events. The last event I went to was GP Houston and they did a fantastic job. Everything was perfect. I actually was there also for Anime Missouri and it was great having the two events there at the same time. So it is about $90. This is the first time I've looked at the prices. They seem kind of expensive. For $90, you get entry to either Legacy, Sealed, or Modern. You get a playmat, and there are different playmats for each event. You get the promo, and you get sleeves, a deck box, a pencil, and a notepad. Most of this stuff really doesn't have too much value for me. Sleeves, I have lots of sleeves, the promo, I hope it's not, is it Protogenesis? I feel like that was a promo from a while ago, but then the notepad, I actually have my own notepad and the playmat, I just have too many playmats. I do wish that they had the ability or they offered the ability to make the event cheaper if you didn't want the playmat slash sleeve slash deck box slash notepad slash pencil. Now you can sell them to somebody to a vendor, but I doubt another vendor is gonna buy a channel fireball sleeves slash the, maybe to buy the playmat and the GP promotional card, but some of the other stuff they're not gonna buy. $90 seems kind of expensive to me for sealed. It's okay, cause you do get six packs, but, oh, I guess the uh, promo is Pro Genesis. Not the best promo, but still nonetheless a good one. But for Modern or Legacy, where pretty much you bring your own deck, seems kind of aggressive. I do know the location is Las Vegas, so it costs more for the convention center. But I'm kind of wondering, is this going to be the price moving forward since Channel Fireball has all the GP events? Essentially, they have a monopoly, which is good and bad. The good is now we don't have crappy vendors. So when you go to a GP event, it'll be very standardized like McDonald's or Burger King. You know, Burger King is the same anywhere as is McDonald's. Arby's is the same anywhere. I went to Arby's in somewhere in the middle of like Changsha in China and it was exactly the same Arby's in the US, like exactly the same. Anyway, I do wanna talk about the most expensive offering. And this is a combination of the history of draft plus another $200 option. I will show you a, a little later. It's quite interesting how magic is, has changed uh, from the years. I remember events at Wizard of the Coast. Wizard of the Coast had a store in, at my mall, the Exton Square Mall in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Oh yes, in Exton, Pennsylvania. Uh, the school I went to was Henderson, so I always say Westchester, but I lived in Exton. And in the Exton Mall, there, and when I was in middle school, they had a Wizard of Coast store. It sold Clue. I remember buying the Simpsons version of Clue. It had Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and obviously Magic tournaments. Right next to the JC Penny. It was a really big place. It was like a fun place. And all my friends in middle school would come play and it was a great place. I just don't know what happened to it, but events there were free. Didn't matter what type of event, didn't matter what it was, they just wanted people to play the game in the store. Dude, that's kind of a really interesting scenario where now you have events at $750 and more. Now this event is fantastic. I don't wanna take anything away from it because it is 20 drafts over five days. That's insane, right? Like that is absolute, I, I don't know where else you can do it except at this event where 20 drafts over five days, that's, that's drafting until you pass out, right? 
So I will show you the history of draft schedule. I might do this. It's just not, it's not about cost because the plane ticket and the hotel and the rental car, uh, that's 750. It makes the 750 look not that bad, but I don't know if I can, it's like 10 a.m. you have a draft, 1 p.m. you have a draft, 5 p.m. I don't know when you're supposed to eat food. Like is there like a lunch break somewhere or I don't know, is a dinner break somewhere? But Wednesday through Sunday, you have RTR. And it's nice that you can see the prices on this. That's really interesting. Uh, Innistrad, Scars, Rise of the Adrazi. That's a really spicy one. Zendikar Block, Charge of Alora, Shadowmoor. That's a cool block. Now, Shadowmoor is awesome. Uh, Lorwyn, Time Spiral. That is a very spicy block. Ravnica, original Ravnica. Uh, Kamigawa. Meriden, Onslaught, Odyssey. Wow, Odyssey, that's old school. Invasion, eh, Invasion cards weren't that good, but that's when I played. That's actually when Wizards of the Coast Store was open. Uh, and this the set I grew up with, Invasion, and then, what was that, Nemesis? Yeah, those two sets I remember, or two, uh, yeah, two sets I remember extremely well. And then you have the Onslaught, Odyssey, Invasion, Mask, Urza block, wow, Urza Saga, Legacy, and Destiny. Then you got Tempest, and you have Miraz, so you can maybe get a, a Lion's Eye Diamond, and Ice Age, which also has the Force of Will at Uncommon. So overall, that is extremely spicy. I mean, you are literally drafting from 10 a.m., which is like start date. So like, let's assume that you get there at like 9, until 8 p.m., so then you leave for your like hotel at like not like it's 12 hours of drafting essentially um maybe even more because if the draft starts at 8 p.m then you won't be over until like midnight so literally it's more than 12 hours of drafting that's crazy like i can't even imagine this event like how how sick would this event be if you just did the draft um yes you get the promotional items but this would be the one event i would want to go to Oh, now let me talk about how much magic has changed uh, now that there are VP, VIP upgrades. Uh, this is the $100 upgrade, and you get the VIP lounge access. Like, we didn't have that back in the day. I remember going to my first big event. I don't know if it was a GP or it was just like, I think it was a GP trial. And <laughs> it's just your local store. But here you have a water bottle, you have a drawstring bag, you have a deck box, you have sleeves with each side event, you have registration fast lane. Man, it is, uh, it really is different from where I used to play. Uh, we didn't even have sleeves at all. Or if we had sleeves, the people who did have sleeves, it would be penny sleeves. And now the game has changed into something that I, you know, if you told me, if you went back in time to that mall and you told me, my friends, this is like what a event will be. Well, if you told me the event would be held in Las Vegas, I would be like, no way. But if you told me the event would have you know, all of this stuff in a, in a VIP upgrade of $100, and then we're going to look at the $200. I did want to show them side by side for a comparison because the, there's only one difference in my opinion. And it's an interesting thing to talk about uh, because I want to, I think we have to have a discussion about this issue. But yeah, hopefully I will, I mean, I'm pretty much 90% likely to go to uh, Las Vegas given the schedule and just the availability. I think it's fine right now. I probably will pl fly, probably, I probably will fly. The hotel is not really a big deal because one of my clients, he has lots of points at the Rio and the Rio actually on the top floor, which you need a special card for, we can get a suite up there, no problem, because he gambles so much that he has like, literally he has unlimited limited points at the Rio and yeah, and the Rio is always very good. I end up breaking even or winning money uh, at the Rio sometimes. I still get the little coupons asking me to go. So I'll probably bring some coupons with me because I, I just got to find them. But anyway, this is the Diamond VIP upgrade. If you told, 
Little me, hey guy, one day you're going to get the diamond VIP upgrade from Magic the Gathering for 200 bucks. I would say, what, what are you talking about? But the, the reason I want to talk about this is because the difference here is you get invitation to a exclusive VIP party on Friday night with Magic pros and personalities. Now, the pros will probably be the Fireball um, people, um, PV, LSV, Paul, Paul, Chion, and some probably other people. And then the personalities would be very interesting. This is a really smart way to make money from an audience. Like, I don't know why they didn't do it before. It's kind of like Wizard of the Coast is now opening booster, po booster packs, boxes, toolkits. I just saw that recently. I was like, wait, they could have done that from the very beginning, right? Who has more booster boxes and packs than Wizards of the Coast? No one has more fat packs than Wizards of the Coast. They literally can produce it on demand. They have stocks probably in their closet they just have everything i wouldn't be surprised if they had boxes of beta like stored away somewhere and then just open those they would be the ultimate box opening channel because they produced the product being open at pennies on the dollar i just thought it would be interesting uh, it would be very interesting to go over how prices have changed and how magic really is a experience that's what they are selling this as a experience where you go to Las Vegas, you hang out with some friends. I already had a few friends going. I just didn't know if I wanted to go or if I could take off some time to go. I'm not gonna go for the, I, if I do the draft, I would probably just actually see if I can split with a friend. Maybe I have to email Channel Fireball to figure that out. If I can just go to the back end of the draft and he can do the first beginning of the draft. I don't know if there's prizes or anything. I assume that the prices are not too good given the prices associated with the draft themselves. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's going to be a fantastic event. Las Vegas is always a lot of fun. Um, we've always had a great... What I'm in Las Vegas at least once or twice a year to speak at some multi-level marketing conferences. I don't know how I got the gig, but once you get the gig, you kind of get the gig. And it's nice because you get to stay at a nice hotel. They comp you your food slash give you a little stipend. The stipend's not like huge and pretty much you can gamble it away. Um, actually, in um, the last time I was in Las Vegas, I was looking for a, just this kind of strange. I was looking for a new, uh, a new Nintendo DS, 3DS. And no matter what I could do, I couldn't find one. I didn't want to go to Walmart or anything. I was really into like retro gaming at the time. And just kind of, I know that the 3DS, the new 3DS is not retro gaming. And I didn't, I wanted to buy one and a game so I could play it on my way back, but I got neither. So this time on the plane ride, I will have my new 3DS. I'm hoping if things turn out correctly, I can get the Fire Emblem Special Edition one to replace the galaxy one i currently have which is kind of lame anyway that's it guys let me know if you will be at the event and yeah maybe we can meet up i'm not really a big fan of meeting up i i done that in gp houston it was kind of fun but i just really want to hang out with my friends right like magic the gathering events is a hangout with friends uh, my friend kobe will be there uh, his lovely wife would be there uh, my significant other, she will probably want to go because Las Vegas, she won't be playing Magic, but she will want to go. Uh, she has been playing ED8. So maybe she'll do a side event. She has a Marcella. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. And the, she's trying to foil out her deck. So she might go there just to buy some stuff from vendors. Anyway, uh, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.